Hello! I guess all of you at some point in your DCS F15 career saw so all of these symbols and numbers in your cockpit radar display and wondered, well, how the hell does all of this actually come together in the world in front of you? How does the radar cone actually look? And how different inputs from you changes what the radar is able to see? Or maybe you understand that pretty well yourself and uh, struggle to explain that to your friend or recruit in the gaming community you're part of. So, you might know me as Sally from, from Tau, and here's a tool that I got for you, which might help you with that. Alright, so we have three, four main screens. The view that you usually have in your game it tries to mimic that one. A top down view, you can drag it around by right clicking the mouse button and dragging the mouse. You can zoom in, zoom out with the scroll view. So there's a top view, you can see the angles 60 de degrees, 30, 30, 60. Distances 20, 40, 60, 80. You can zoom in, zoom out. Alright, you have the side view. Left is you, and to the right is 80. As well, you have uh, some gradations there. And a free looking camera that you can rotate around again with your right mouse button and zooming in and out with your scroll. The controls are as following WASD for moving the cursor around, the target designator, as it's called in game. Q and E for raising and lowering the elevation of the radar cone. So you see there, plus and minus for zooming in and out, as you see in the game here in this corner. Uh, the cones themselves won't zoom in and out because uh, the enemies still got nails or spikes from you. So the radar emissions are still present above the zoom level that you have set up. All right, uh, you can uh, change from long range scan to TWS and back by pressing the TK. Lock somebody with R. Unlock with X. And you also can see the same here in this corner, in case you forgot it. It's also possible to edit the uh, the units, the enemy units that you have there. You can remove, move them around, or create new one. So I'm gonna press delete there. You just remove them by clicking on them, either on the top view, the side view, or the free camera view. You can't do that in the cockpit display. No, not possible. But right, gonna create a few one. If you do that on top view or the free view, they're gonna be spawned at zero altitude always, and if you do that on the side view, they will gonna spawn at 12 o'clock all the time. On the other side, you have better precision with altitude. I'm gonna move them around, so just click and drag them. You can do that both in top view, side view, and uh, free movement. I recommend doing top view if you want to change the position, and the side view if you want to change the altitude. If you move them around in the free view, they will be moved on the plane perpendicular to your camera. So, most likely they will move on in all three directions. It's up to you. Also, you have a copy of your target designator on all of the views, so you can see how it moves around when you move it. In the cockpit. Also you have this vertical bar which changes size with the distance from you. It shows what are the altitudes that you can see at the distance that the cursor is now currently positioned. So obviously the further you are away the bigger it gets, the closer the smaller it gets. So, for example, here at 20 miles, well, almost 20 miles, we can see that the data can scan between 25 and 14 angels, which is, yeah, somewhere at 25 and 14. We change that, and we can see that. 
here changing in the side view. So go ahead and experiment with uh, different scenarios that can that you can think of that you had difficulties while we are gaming. For example, here you might uh, be cruising at a very high altitude, the angels of 40, and you see two targets in the distance. It's really easy for you to keep track of them in the beginning, but as they come closer, oh, GWS, yeah. So it's you have a really big distance here that you can uh, pl play with, but as they come closer, you of course will see how it's harder and harder to keep keep track of them. So obviously the closer they are to you and the bigger is the altitude difference between you, the smaller is the cross section of the radar that you can view. Yeah, just a small area like that compared to when they were high, so just keep experimenting, think of things that you struggled with and take your time. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll post the link to the actual application in the description below.